Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video, we're going to create this simple checkpoint system. So now we have this checkpoint here, which is this blue thing. When we go over it and we go off, and we can press R to restart to the checkpoint. Also, I added this key so I can press M to save a checkpoint, and now when I press R, it will be there where I saved it. So, yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the third person folder and to the blueprints. And then we want to open the BB third person game mode. And open full blueprint editor. And I want to save the blue, uh, checkpoint code here. So first let's add a begin play. And to the begin play, what we want to do, we want to just get the reference to our player. So get a player character. And from here, we want to cast to third person character. And then we want to promote it to a variable. And let's select them and press Q to align. And it did work correctly, but yeah, now it's cool. And I like to rename this to player ref. Okay, now let's create another cust custom event under here. Let's call this Set checkpoint, and we want to add a input. This input will be called transform, and the variable type will be transform. Now what we want to do, we want to promote this to a variable, and this will be the checkpoint transform. Okay, let's create another. Uh, custom event. This will be called spawn to check point. Okay. And here what we want to do, we want to get our player ref and we want to get the actually we want to set world transform and the capsule component like this. Now where we want to set it will be our checkpoint transform. Let's connect this to here. And after that, what we want to do, we also want to get our player controller and we want to set control rotation. And now we want to get the checkpoint transfer transform again. And we want to split it so we can access the rotation like this. Okay, this will transform our view basically. So our, uh, I will show you. Okay, now we want to compile and save all, and we want to move this next to the third person map so we can uh, have them on the same window. Let's open the PP third person character. And here, what we want to do, let's go down. You can add a real key from the project, uh, project settings, but I will add a simple key and search something, uh, select something, and now I want to save this to like M. Sorry, let's first save this to R. And let's copy this node under here or create another command uh, input and this will be M. And this R will be for spawning to checkpoint. So, and this M will be to setting the checkpoint. So now let's go to the begin play. And let's get our reference to game mode. Hit game mode, and we want to cast to third person game mode like this. Let's promote this to a variable. This will be called game mode ref. Okay. Now here on the R, what we want to do is we want to get our game mode ref, and we want to spawn to checkpoint that we just created. Now we don't have any checkpoints yet, so we have to create that. So on the M, we want to get the game mode ref, of course, and we want to 
that checkpoint. Okay. Now for the transfer, what we want to do is we want to get our players capture component, and from here we want to get world transform. So we will get the current world transform. And after this, I will show you how to put this use the same thing, but on like a real checkpoint. Now I will just show that it works. So let's compile, let's save all, let's go to third person map, and let's actually play on new editor window. I like to play on that. Okay. I don't know why this is lagging, but yeah, let's go here and let's press M. Now it will save the checkpoint. Now when we press R, we are there. And if we go here and turn like this, M, we will be back there. Okay. So, uh, uh, now I will show you how, why we have to set the control rotation also. So if we don't set the control rotation here, I will cut this. I will show you what happens. So if I'm like this, and now I'm running here and press R, you can see my view is rotated incorrectly. So that's the reason why we want to control rotation also. Now let's create the checkpoint. So let's create a new actor, sorry, blueprint cards, and type actor, and this will be called checkpoint. Let's open it. Let's add here some, maybe like cube. And let's make the height 0 0.05. So it will be like that. Now let's set this to some, maybe this blue. Now we want to go to the here on the collision presets. Now it will block, uh, set to block. So let's set it to overlap all. So it will work for us now. But you might have to use some other settings or you might want to use some other settings. But for, for us, this will be it. So what we want to do now is we want to scroll down and here on component begin overlap, let's add a event on that. And here from the other actor, we want to cast to third person character. And from here, we want to actually we have to compile, then we can get game mode ref. And from the game mode ref, we want to set checkpoint. Okay. And also we want to get our get world transform from here. Capsule component. You uh, also can get this actor's uh, location, but then you will have to change one thing. But this is the easiest way. Now you are getting your player's current uh, location or transform when you are overlapping with this checkpoint. But also, if you want, you can get the default scene route from here, and you can get world transform. But then there will be one thing that you have to remember. So if we connect this right now, like this, I will show you. Let's compile and save. Let's add this to maybe here. So now when we, oh, this is lagging. So when we go to here, now when we press R, we will spawn, okay, this is lacking so much. Okay, I got it to work. So now when we go here and press R, okay, here it might not uh, glitch, but if we, for example, move this to uh, here, I'll show you. Then we restart. Okay, you might see that is it's trying to spawn our character, basically uh, here uh, in inside of this thing, because the uh, root is here where you can see this uh, ball thing. Okay, and our player's root is. Uh, here on the middle, basically. So that's the reason. So what you want to do to fix that, you want to add to this value 
and actually we have to split this first. Sorry, I didn't remember that. And we want to split this. And you want to connect rotation in transform. Actually, you don't want to connect to transform, sorry. Only the rotation. Then you want to add to the location and connect the location. And what you want to add to the location will be the amount that you have here on the mesh on the set value, minus 89. So you want to add that 89 to there. So now it will spawn it correctly. Now it will spawn it exactly where it's supposed to be. So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one.